Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back with another week of NFL picks. This week, we're going to do week 14's preview of the games and who I think is going to win. Now, coming off week 13, we actually had a pretty good week again. Back-to-back uh, -back -back good weeks, I'll take it. I was 9-6 um, and six in... Um, week 13 so that's 60 percent right on the nose and uh you know i'll take it it's the nfl every team is uh you know there's a lot of parody in the nfl and i can't recall any real upsets that um where i had picked the uh the definitely favored team that should have won and they didn't so you know that's how it goes so considering I was nine and six, you know, I'll take it. But with that having been said, you know, what has to happen now is we have to discuss what my picks for week 14 are going to be. And we're going to do that right now. Well, with all that having been said about week 13, it's on to week 14 and the picks for the coming week. So. We're going to start with the Thursday, as we always do, because there's always a Thursday game, or there has been so far. We're going to start with the Thursday, December 8th game. And that game is the Raiders at the Rams. Now, the Rams played a pretty inspired football game the other day, but in this one, no. We're going to still go with the Raiders on that. So, pick the Raiders over the Rams. I like what the Raiders are doing. I told you, it's just a matter of time before things just start to kind of gel together for the Raiders. And that, that may be exactly what is going on right now. So, uh, then now we get into the Sunday games. And this would be Sunday, December 11th. And the first game there is going to be a divisional matchup. The Vikings and the Lions. And you know what? In this one, I am going to go with the Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you were really uh, in suspense there, but uh, no, we're, we're definitely taking in that particular case, the, uh, the Vikings. That brings us to the next game on that docket. And that's going to be the Ravens at the Steelers. Now, um, Lamar Jackson may be out for this game, but even his backup, um, Tyler Huntley, is actually pretty good. But the Ravens' defense is a sieve. I mean, those boys are not good. Even with, with our man, Rawcon Smith, that they got from the Bears, they're still not good. So um, I am going to, I'm inclined to say I am going to take the Steelers in this one. Um, the Steelers are at home. The Ravens have not played good football so far for a while. I mean, they haven't played good football for a little while here. And even when they win, they barely win. And they just play down to the competition that they're against. So I'm going to go with the Steelers because Tomlin always has those boys ready to play. We got another divisional matchup, as was that last one. And this is another one from the same division. And this is going to be the Bengals against the Browns. The Bengals are at home. So, yeah, we're going to go with the Bengals. I know um, if you saw last week, you know that Deshaun Watson is back. But he doesn't look like the Deshaun Watson that was on the Texans. He's still got some work to do to get back to that form. And the Browns are just not a good enough team to hang with the Bengals. The next one we got, and this is a tough one. This is the Jets at the Bills. Jets at the Bills. The Jets have been playing great since Mike White has taken over at quarterback. They almost even uh, came back and won last week. But I'm going to go with the Bills. I'm still going to, you know, I mean, I just really can't take the Bills to lose at home against the Jets. I'm not saying it can't happen, but I can't really pick that. 
The next one we have now, this is not a divisional bet matchup, but it is a state matchup. We have the Texans against Dallas. And if you saw last week's game where Dallas just dismantled the Colts, I think they they're coming up on a, you know, they're um I think they're starting to hit their stride, so we're going to go with Dallas in that one. Take the Cowboys in that particular game. Let me catch up here on my picks because I want to remember who I took. Um, and uh, you got the Cowboys. And so now that's four home teams in a row that I've just picked. And uh, we, the next one we have is, and there's only 13 games this week. So six teams are on a bye. And I will mention those when we get to the end of the picks. But your next one you got is the Eagles and the Giants. Yeah. I'm going with the Eagles here. The Eagles should win this game. Um, the Giants are at home, but I'm not so sure that matters. And now we have the Jags and the Titans. Now, the Jags had an inspired uh, game two weeks ago, but... They were the same Jags last week. And uh, we're going to go with the Titans, even though, really, um, their coach, I forget his name, um, ex-Patriot guy, it, it seems like he never has them prepared to play against teams that are worse than the Titans. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But the Jags are so much worse that I – I think even if he told the guys to go home and just enjoy the week and no practice or nothing, they would still probably beat the door. They still should beat the Jags. Um, so the next one we have is the Chiefs and the Broncos. And in this one, we are going to definitely go with the Chiefs. There is no question the Broncos are terrible. I mean... I've, I've seen the statistics on how bad the Broncos' offense is, and you can hear people talk about it all the time, all you want, but I actually watched them play last week against Baltimore, and I can tell you, it's that bad. <coughs> Next one we have is the Panthers at the Seahawks, and, uh, you know, although the Panthers have been playing inspired base or football, and they let my man Mayfield go, which is really great. I was happy to hear that. We're still going to go with the Seahawks. So take the Seahawks over the Panthers. That's what should happen. Now you got the um, Buccaneers at the 49ers. And if you've been watching these two teams play the last few weeks, it should be readily apparent that, yes, the 49ers are going to win this game. They, uh, you know, I mean, they had that a couple, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, where they beat the Saints only 13 nothing. But, I mean, you only need 13 to beat the Buccaneers. So that's moving us along to the Dolphins and the Chargers, a big AFC matchup here. We're going to go with the Dolphins. I don't think there's any question you're going to take the Dolphins in this one. And that brings us to the Monday night game. The Monday night game this week is going to be the Patriots at the Cardinals. And I got to be really totally frank here. I have no idea which one of these teams will win the game. I don't know which of the Jekyll and Hyde of either version of the team is going to show up. The Cardinals are at home. I don't really know if that helps the... the uh, <coughs> <clears throat> the Cardinals, but I'm going to take the Cardinals anyway. So we're going to go with the Cardinals at home to beat the Patriots because I just don't know which of any either version of them is going to show up. So that leaves, uh, that's it, that's it. That's the complete docket. And the buys this week are my Bears, very good. Packers, Falcons, Colts, Saints, and Commanders are all off this week. So, it's still an interesting week of games. What do you guys think of my picks? Give me a thumbs up for the video. Let me know below what picks you uh, disagree with me on, which picks you agree with me on, which picks you really like. Um, coming off two pretty good weeks in a row, so... 
hoping to keep it going, but for right now, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.